I was lucky with Peter Parker when I came up with that character because he seems to have struck a chord with, with so many readers. And I think it's because he's probably more like a regular person, a normal person than any other character. And I try to make him that way because I guess until Peter Parker, no superhero or no superhero's alter ego had ever had to worry about making a living, getting along well with girls, being popular, or, or have all the problems that... I tried to heap as many problems as I could on poor Peter because I feel most people, even people who seem to be happy, have problems and they have worries. Truthfully, I think Steve and I came up with some great stories and right. some great villains. Right, right, right. You know, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, the Sandman, and right. everything worked. And visually, the Very story was great. character, too. Because the way Steve would have him crawling on walls and swinging on webs, mm -hmm. it just, everything came together perfectly. And it's very, it's, it's very, one of the very few comic book characters, even back then, that, that was covered from head to toe. Like, if Captain America, you still yeah. have this much of his face. Spider-Man's completely enveloped in his costume. Oh, you so know the good thing about that? Yes. You could be any kid. Yeah. You could be black. You could be Asian. You right. could be Indian. You right. could be anything. And imagine you were in that costume. Right. So I think that made it relevant to all. Everybody everywhere, right. and that was accidental. I've heard a lot of people complain about uh, sort of the older Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are saying the thing that we liked the most about Peter Parker was his youth. Mm -hmm. He was going through a bunch of awkward things, and you know, he goes through so much in his life. And we're losing that as he's getting as he's getting older, and we want to go back to a younger Peter. Um, one thing that's, that's always troubled me is we have the graying of the comics industry. So you tend to see more here at Comic Con uh, grown ups dragging kids along than kids dragging adults along. Definitely. And I think that there's something kind of amiss in that. Uh, and our, our heroes have grown up at the same time, and there's some good about that, and some not so good about that. I called Robert re relatively early saying, I, I think there's a chance we might get Spider Man in this movie. And his reaction was actually one uh, just like a fanboy, which was yeah. which was unbelievably excited for what that could mean for this for this movie. Something else we want to we want to explore is how unique he is to the MCU when now put against all of these other characters. We want to play with Spider-Man in in uh, all about breaking him down. I got a call from Sam Raimi, the director, and he said I just talked to one of the producers. And he's thinking about getting to work with those movies. I said, I'm around, I'm available. So, and nine months later, a lot of the other cast was then in the movie, and we all got together in New York for a week and we'd sit around, read the script, and then talk about the character relationships and go through some of the scenes and wear clothes and shoot things. And, you know, it was a really fun process. Working with him, bringing him into the films, that's the greatest gift that you can give. So another spider and spend them.